Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweed Command video. So today I've been over to Berkhamsted in Hertfordshire to pick up a set of Tannoy Monitor Golds. Now these are, are from the late 60s I think or could be mid 60s to the, um, to the early 70s. I'm not entirely sure of the age of them. But um, so these have come in for a cabinet refurbish so I'm going to restore the cabinets of these so for some reason this one has got a slightly smaller driver in it okay to uh, this one down here so it could be that they're a marriage but Alan from Berkhamsted who I picked them up from uh, he purchased them um, he said these were sold as ones well on their own basically so you didn't buy a set of them you bought them individually that's what i meant to say so they're uh what can i say about these uh they are they are teak so they're a teak veneer they're made of block board and then they're teak veneered okay so we've got a front baffle down there a port for the uh for the base um let's take a look at the back of these so this is the back so we've got a couple of level dials there for treble yeah, there's the old tannoy sticker there so i'm not going to touch the backs of them they'll be masked up okay now this is the connector down there for connecting your speaker cable okay so let's just screw the back off and i'll show you the insides of these so here we have the back panel off and there you can see tannoy monitor gold these are in lovely condition the inside um, this is all the damping materials on the sides there it's uh, a cotton calico with some it looks like some uh, cotton felt inside okay so this is the back panel there so that's where the crossover is in there and then this this cable here connects into the speaker port there you can see it it's like a din connector of some sort okay so what we need to do is we're going to be taking out the uh the woofers out of here they're like a mid-range so uh, they do the treble and the um and the bass and the mid-range all together so but it's interesting that, that one of them's got a different size uh, woofer in than the other. So whether it was replaced at some stage and they couldn't get the right size or whether they're just a marriage of two different speakers made into a pair, I don't know. But um, it'll be interesting. So it's going to be a very interesting project. This, And I'm going to film the whole lot for you guys. So we're going to, we're going to sort out all the veneer problems. And let's look at the underneath of these speakers. So these are the feet there on the underneath. And uh, they're in a bit of a bad state. So I'm going to replace all of this uh, with some birch ply. And I'll, I'll be veneering it, the birch ply, with uh, teak veneer. Okay, these are all going to be stripped down. They're going to come up gorgeous once I've finished with them. You'll, you'll be totally surprised. So, um, so I'll, I'll do an in-depth video on this in the coming week. And they'll have a, like, a, they're not going to be done in a high gloss finish or anything. They're going to have a nice satin finish to them. Because teak, primarily in the, in the old days, originally teak was just oiled. But um, we're going to do a nice uh, polish finish on it, but in a satin look. So it really gives out, brings out the grain. You can see where they've all faded. And they came out of an old school. So, and all this veneer here is all pickling up. It's all lifting. This is just the ply, actually, that's lifting. And uh, there's no point in re repairing that, I don't think. It's going to be better uh, to replace it and, and make it look like it was original. When you do restoration, what's a no-no is to, is to replace something to make it look new. Because these are vintage. We want to make them look like they're in mint condition for the age opposed to being restored so that's the that's the challenge of restoration 
so I've been in the restoration game now the furniture restoration game for over um, well since 1988 so I've got a lot of experience of uh, and I've been working for myself running my restoration business since 1990 when I was established so uh, yeah so this is uh, it's going to be a very interesting project and the the, uh, the drivers they're in very good condition they're uh, they're interesting so um, and this one here is much the same but just slightly larger so there's not a lot in it really one's uh, slightly bigger than the other but uh, what we're going to do first of all before we start the restoration project on these is we're going to uh, test them to make sure they work so I'll be doing that over the coming days just to see what they look like so uh, so if you're watching this Alan uh, you'll be able to see a step-by-step uh, -step, uh, guide on how I restore these so I think that's it for this video uh, I don't know too much more about these speakers yet I'm going to do a bit of research on the internet and really get to know them so uh, all I've got to say is thanks for watching another tweaker man video if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give this video a uh, a like don't forget to press that notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a video and thank you for watching guys